till 10, 15 a.m. Race day at round five of the World Cup in Snowshoe. And I'm racing because I qualified for the first time in, I haven't checked, but I think it's about eight years. I think the last time I qualified was in Fort William back in like 2012. That might be nine years. So yeah, it's been a while. Um, and yeah, it's just been, it's been going pretty good. I've been kind of building up my fitness and strength over the last few World Cups, not qualifying, and now I'm finally, finally peaking at the last round. Um, and yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's been so long since I've done this that I've almost forgotten the process. So it's like, I need to do some stretches because I'm old now. So I need to do some stretches. Then we've got to check the bike. Then I'm probably going to run out of time and then just rush off and do some practice laps. Two, two laps because my body is quite sore. Just, I've got, uh, what's it called? The DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. <laughs> it's like when you go to the gym for the first time in a long time and then everything hurts the next day. So I got a bit of that going on. So yeah, a bit of stretching, two runs just to ease into it. I need to build up the speed in a couple spots. So I'm gonna try a couple new lines as well. Uh, uh, but yeah, other than that, should be good. Oh. Hey guy. Good morning. Oh, what's he doing? It's wasty. So, Went in to practice this morning feeling pretty happy. Race day, practice on race day. Remember, I was thinking about uh, Eddie Masters on race day in Maribor, and he didn't even make it to the race because he binned it in practice. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that. Third turn. Yo. <laughs> Tried a line that I'd seen Danny Hart do uh, on his helmet cam. Set up wide, like yo, line me up perfectly, started turning in, and then the front wheel just like tucked and it like went. I was like, oh, panic braked. Then I stepped the back out and I was like, oh, oh, think I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna save it. And then my hand just like clipped a tree. And then that, that really got things going. <laughs> and the bike got all tangled up and I just got like whipped into the ground and like smacked the back of my head on the ground and my vision went all blurry and it's like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> I'm never gonna get to race. I like crawled off to the side of the track. And whenever I have a crash, I, it's like I need to just sit and process it for a little while. So everyone's like, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm just there like, oh. <laughs> just like trying to like let my body just like figure out what I've done to it. And uh, luckily it wasn't too bad. So really bruised my shoulder. I think I, I hit my shoulder on the tree as I was like going into the woods. Um, so that was sore. And uh, I've definitely tweaked some things in my neck as well. Maybe a bit of whiplash. But anyway, I was like, right, I think I'm okay. I'll just cruise down. And I cruised down and I felt okay. <laughs> I was like, right, we've only got a little bit of practice left because there was a lot of flopping about on the ground, wasting time. So I went back out and I was like, right. <sighs> like my head felt a wee bit wavy. And I was like, so I'll do this run and decide like how I'm feeling. And then I had a really good run. And I felt pretty good. No big mistakes, hit on the lines. Um, bit tired, but I was like, yeah, we're good. We're good to race. Um, I mean, yeah, came back here and now I'm just, just prepping. Okay, deep breaths, race run time. Let's do this. So out the gate, start in second gear, punch it down into fourth, another quick click into fifth. And these turns are super hard. I really struggled with that quick left, right? And I did get a bit of a wobble on and had to pedal out. And out of this, a few good pedals and here we come to the danger section. I slowed down a lot. 
but I got through cleanly. But then watch this. Oh, the back end steps out over those roots and had a little panic there. But no, we're clean, we're back on. Clipped in really quickly, thankfully. So coming down here, I like to do a few pedal strokes. Click into one gear easier, because the next time you pedal, it's a really tight turn. So down into this, slash that turn a little bit too aggressively. And I really went into this. So deep. <laughs> I panicked there. I thought I'd overcooked that, but we brought it back. So down into this section, I got this really nice. I was really pleased with that and caught this backside. And this corner was so blown out. So everyone was inciting it because it was just destroyed. Really goodness. And I had to haul on the brakes so hard here. And I was really pleased. I got cleanly out on the pedals out of that. Rail this turn, over braked into that corner. Really frustrated me, but I just like forget about it and crack on. Nice and neat through here. And I was doing a line where I jumped a rock here, but I decided to sack it off because it was a bit too precise. Carried the speed out of that quite nicely. That was decent. Around these corners, you're just trying to carry the speed. Few pedal strokes, I'm not digging in too deep quite yet, because this is the one I really want to pedal out of. So I'm giving it the beans here. Giving it, keeping the speed up, keeping the speed up. But then I'm not that fit, so I'll have a sit down here. So this is me just sat down, taking deep breaths, spinning the legs so that I can focus on this next bit. Over break for that turn. Another frustrating thing. I never got that turn right all weekend, but luckily we've got another race to do it again. So no, I was nice and clean through here. I was taking a wider line here, which was slower, but it was a lot less physical in the body with good exit speed. I like that. Down this steep bit. Some of the guys were attacking so hard down here, but I'm so heavy, I just trickled down into it. But that was nice and clean, really pleased with that. And down into this section, I'm starting to feel tired, so I'm just trying to stay relaxed, trying to not you know, hold on too tight. And look at this light here. It was so hard to tell where the rocks were. I really struggled with the patchy light through that bit. And down here, watch this. You can't see it, but, oh, I did a big press up on the handlebars there. That was a close call. Down into here. I've lost a lot of speed because of that mistake further up. So down this bit, I'm off the brakes, but I'm just not carrying enough speed. Really frustrated, but there was just nothing I can do. And I get bumped offline there and hit something and it slowed me right down. And down here, I'm, feeling like my hands are going to fall off the bars. So I just went cautious and clean through there. And now, yeah, we got to give it. So I'm on the gas, pedaling as hard as I can. But because I'm a big boy, I know if I get too tired, I'll just turn into a floppy mess in these jumps. So I'm death gripping down this bit because I've got no grip left in my arms. Death grip to hold on and send that triple. Went a little too deep, but we made it work. Fingers back on the brakes, slow down just a touch for this turn, and I just get on the gas as hard as I can. Pedal, 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 pedal. Pedaling again, then the legs get cooked and it's just speed tucked through to the finish. And that's a clean run. Genuinely super impressed I got that in clean. So, um, what was the big goal? Do a clean run. Great success. Um, I didn't have any like, mistakes but I did have severe I'm talking severe body fatigue like got to the bottom rock garden and I'd seen Miriam Nicole like let the front get away and crash in our restaurant so like, that's not happening it's not gonna happen to me so I was like I tacked into it and I hit a bump caved a little bit hit another bump caved again and it's just like a succession of bumps I was on my stem thinking this this is gonna hurt and then I just managed to just squeeze out one last press up I and mean, I just played it super safe down the last few rocks because I knew if I hit anything again, I wasn't saving it. So uh, other than that, decent. Like, really impressed I managed to do that. Like everyone else is saying how physical this track is. And I am not in good racing shape. So yeah, clean run. Uh, I'm sitting all right at the minute. I'm in like 16th, a few riders left to go. Maybe get like top 40, which is amazing. Like, Really cool. And then we've got to do it again. There's another round. So I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna see, I reckon tomorrow I'm gonna to be hurting. I had a bad crash this morning. So I'm just happy I'm alive. And I got a chance to race. I was sick. And it's cool that everyone got to follow along and enjoy it as well. Hope you did enjoy it. It was good. I had fun.